Hello everyone and welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of SnoozeSat Prep, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of aptitude. Now, um, aptitude is an important part of the SnoozeSat examination, which again is important for people who want to get into Shivnadar University. So, it is not wise to overlook aptitude, even though it appears simple at first. Most of the questions have more than what meets the eye. So having said that, let's look at some questions of aptitude and how to solve them effectively. Most of the questions today would be based on coding and decoding. So let's look at our questions. In a certain code, SOBA is written as R-N-A-D-Q. How can Lotus be written in that code? So when it comes to coding and decoding, the best way to understand what is going on is to write the letter, I mean, the, write the word in question and its code, both in caps. So having done that, let's look at some, you know, connection between the two. If you look at it, R comes after S in the alphabet. Similarly, N O comes after N in the alphabet. So, in truth, the idea for making this code is that for each letter in the word, the letter previous to that, in the previous position to that, in the alphabetical order, comes as its code. And you can see this across the word. So, SOBA again becomes RNADQ because that's how it would look like using that particular code. Now, now that we know how SOBER is coded, the logic of the code, let's use it for LOTUS. So again, if you want to do it the right way, you need to have the alphabetical, you know, table with you. And this is what I do. So I write the letters of the alphabet five at a time. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Now that works for the first four. And finally you have U, V, W, X, Y. And since it's one letter, I'll let it slide and go to the outside the column. So now we know, so now we know a way to easily write the alphabet while at the same time giving us an idea of how their places are. Now, this can be very helpful if you want to code for something like Lotus. So, we need to find the word previous to Lotus, the, the letter previous to L, and below, before L comes K. Now, most people would have to sing the alphabetical song from the start, but not me. I can just look at it and voila, there it is. So, if you look at it for O, O is the 15th letter of the alphabet. Before O comes N, so I'll just write it down. And by this time, you, you would have already gotten the answer. See, when I got K as my first letter, options B and D turn out to be incorrect because their first letters are M and L respectively. Now, since we know that N comes before O, and that should be the right code, uh, the, the confusion between K and STR and KMSTR was also resolved. And since the one with N is the right answer, that means that option A turns out to be the right answer. So S comes before T, T comes before U, and R comes before S. And that's how Lotus is coded as K-N-S-T-R. Now let's look at the next question. If the word tablecloth is coded as X-E-M-R-A-N-R-I-X-T, how can hotel be coded? So again, Let's do the obvious. Write down tablecloth in caps and write down its code. X E M R A N R I X T. Now, from here, you can understand something. For both places where L was present in tablecloth, the letter R is present in you know, the code. That means R always comes up with L. 
Now, um, you can always, you know, be welcome to find out what the code is. Sometimes there won't be anything obvious. It will be any form of any word and then any form of code alongside it. Now, from here, how do we solve the question? If you look at it, our target word is hotel. Now, it has five letters, H, O, T, E, and L all of which are present in the word tablecloth. So if you want to write hotel, all you have to do is check the corresponding letter in tablecloth, find its code, and then superimpose it. For example, for H, the code is T, which means that option A and D are incorrect. Next, we have O in hotel, and its code is I which means that option C is incorrect, while option B turns out to be the right answer. T corresponds with X, E corresponds with A, and L corresponds with R. And that's how you solve it easily. Now, let's look at the final question for today. If democratic is written as E-D-M-O-R-C-A-T-C-I, how will continuous be written in the same code? So, um, to find this out, let's write democratic and its code. Um, let's, um, you know, correct that before moving on. T-I-C. Now, let's write its code. E-D... M O R C A T C I. Now, if you look at it, it might stand out to be obvious to you. Now, let's um, you know divide democratic into five pair, five pairs of coupled letters. So we have D E M O C R A T and I C as our pairs. Now let's give them numbers as well. Now if you look at it, the even pairs such as 2 and 4 have the letters written as is from the original word. They haven't been changed or anything. However, for the odd um, pairs such as D, E, C, R and I, C, the letters' positions have been interchanged. So for DE, in the code, it's written as ED. So you get the point. So CR becomes RC, IC becomes CI. So this is what the code is. So we divide um, the 10-letter word that we get into five pairs, and every odd pair gets its letters interchanged. So how would continuous look like here? So C O N T I. N U O U S. Again, let's pair them up. C O is one pair, N T is another, I N is another, U O is another, and U S is the final pair. And let's number them as well. That way we would know which ones to change. So the first pair is C O. Now, according to Democratic and the code we wrote for it, we'll have to interchange the letters' positions. So C O becomes O C. NT is the second pair, it's even, so it stays as is. IN is the third pair, which is odd, which means we'll have to change its position. So IN becomes NI. UO is an even pair, so we, it stays as is. And finally, US, which is an odd pair, becomes SU. The letters get interchanged. So basically, you get OC, NT, NI, OU, SU. Now, the letters... The codes here starting with OC would be right, so options B and D are incorrect. And um, amongst the two of you, if you notice, the second pair does not change, which means for continuous, NT stays the same in the code, which means that option C turns out to be the right answer and not option A because they unfortunately decided to change the position for the second pair, which is not how the code works. 
So finally, we got our answer, option C, which is O-C-N-T-N-I-U-O-S-U. That is the correct code for continuous if democratic is written as E-D-M-O-R-C-A-T-C-I. Now that concludes this episode of Snoosat Prep. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to um, hit the bell icon present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.